players having that uh, that strategy with a pure timing in mind and whether or not it'll come down to uh, the scouting or not, that is remains to be seen. In the bottom left here, represented from Malaysia, this is Ranger. And his opponent in the top right side of the map in the blue, representing Legacy A and Z. This is none other than Pro. Now, Ranger actually, uh, he did have a team name in the intro, um, but I, it was a bunch of letters and numbers, and I'm so sorry to the team owners. Uh, M M8 Hexa is what I tend to call it, but I haven't M8 actually Hexa? confirmed okay. if that's how they prefer it to be said. I just call it M8 Hexa, or just M8 well, for short is a nice way of abbreviating that. that kind of rolls off. I was going to say, I'd like to call them Mate, because they got the <laughs> M8 mate. next to the Nexus. Yeah, Mate. Mate. As an Australian, I see M and 8 together, and that word becomes very clear to me. That's mate. That's been in every SMS text message that I've sent since 2005. <laughs> oh, well, it is, uh, is going to, I think, be a good chance for him to really show what he's worth and establish himself here. As uh, both sky and tight sides just kind of scouting each other, making sure no one's getting away with anything sneaky. No one's really trying mm -hmm. to hide anything just yet. Hasn't really been anything crazy. I'm having a look at the mate main here of Ranger. It, yeah, it's just very similar builds for both players. Probe just had the two probes on gas for a while there, leaving one of the assimilators empty. Um, but, uh, other than that, there really is negligible differences between the two. The real question in PvP is when they go for this build order, what comes out the gateways? And here we go. It is two stalkers for Probe and two for Ranger. So cheaper on the gas for Ranger means you'll have access to tier two tech a little bit quicker. And with the low ground pylon is indeed intending to expand. Same deal for Probe. Indeed, those Adepts, of course, more mobile. A bit easier to scout, get more information with them. It really does pin your opponent back. But they're just not as good in a frontal fight. Stalkers shoot up, they defend Oracles. Uh, they, they, they beat Adepts in a head-to-head -head fight. They're a bit more flexible in terms of their micro ability, their move and shoot, of course, their superior range. So it does show the two Stalkers, does Probe, and he immediately builds a third Stalker. And a fourth one does queue up a little bit later, just slightly delayed there for Probe. So he's going to open up with the four Stalkers for the safety. And I'm curious if he goes for like a quick Stargate here or, or what kind of comes out. The Adepts are making their way around the right side. Trying to hunt down Probe's oh. Probe, actually. So he's trying to prioritize that. Two Stalkers coming up behind this for Ranger, so he should be completely safe. Yeah, two Stalkers against two Stalkers and the high ground advantage. I mean, we've all seen the Star Wars prequels. We know that Ranger has this as far as positioning is concerned. Um, but the pylon block, obviously a little bit annoying here, a bit of a mana pylon there for Probe. Also, the, the other plus side there of the pylon is even if it doesn't block, you get to see what comes out of the gateways, which can be worth 100 minerals. Well, this shade is threatening in. We'll go after that probe and find one of them. Not bad. Does see the Nexus and a quick recall. That's good play by Ranger, making sure none of those go down. Ranger finally clears up the pylon on the other side of the map as well. And uh, in the meantime, he went for a quicker Twilight Council. Now, this wasn't really planned by Ranger. It's... Oh. I've got, I've got Pig. i got Pig not on the call with me anymore. Uh-oh. There you are. You're back. Sorry. <laughs> I was getting uh, world final PTSD there for a second, but I'm glad uh... you've returned. Apologies, uh, you know, That's just right. a little Welcome glitch back. in the matrix here. Um, but it looks like right now both sides just standing off. So quick attack for Ranger, but uh, Probe will have the faster Nexus here. Uh, not a massive difference, but hey, good little pressure here. Trying to find his way on in there. Gets one of the sentries. Ooh, if you can get these sentries down, this is a very good trade for your adepts. Absolutely. 200 gas per sentry and oh, one of them, one more shot and it does go down. And Probe holds. Wasn't for free, but he does hold. Yeah, I think Ranger is very happy to take that, though. Two adepts in a sentry for uh, two adepts in a stalker. Sorry for three sentries. That's the 300 gas. Those sentries give you scouting. They give you a lot of attention over time. They really are a useful unit. The longer the Absolutely. game goes. And earlier, the, like gas is already the rarer resource, and if you're losing those rare resource units at uh, four minutes it obviously hurts a lot more than losing them at the 10 minute mark so we do have uh just everyone getting back to their sides of the map and macroing up to the next phase of the game looks like blink for both players with ranger going a little bit quicker into the tier two tech um being the robo and uh 
and, and seeing what he gets out of that one. Obviously, the Forge is a bit quicker for Probe, though. So a little bit of a get and a little bit of give. So he's going to have faster plus one attack and a bit more gateway production. But, you know, an, an Immortal or two can definitely make the difference for Ranger as far as fights are concerned if the two armies did meet. Ah, very safe third and fourth gateway before expand for Probe while Ranger scouting that just says, hey, I'll start my Nexus then put the two gateways down. Probe moving out to his third base very carefully and slowly after losing those sentries. You can see he's really taking care to get the Robo even down. And he want, doesn't want to be surprised. But seeing that third of Ranger, of course, will get a move on for him. They both paused on about 41 probes for now. Ranger does queue up a few more. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of just looking to see if either player just cuts that probe production. Or we see, like, charge and a bunch more gateways go down at any point. For now, though, looks reasonably even. Probe's going to be the first one to pressure, but the army supply is almost identical. Ranger, well positioned. He should be able to stop this. That probe on the tower does spot it coming. Yeah, I don't think Probe's going to get a whole lot done here at the third base. Ranger does have the sentries for Guardian Shield as well, which is a great addition. Probe actually has no energy on his sentry, so it's basically just a tickle beam unit, which isn't the greatest fighting unit when you think about it. Blinks from Probe, quite good. Keeps most of his stalkers alive. Oh, flicks one off at the end there. Oh. Tried to return fire and pick off that stalker from Ranger, but he might get punished for that. Oh, yes, he does. This is very dangerous for Ranger, though, because he hasn't really been oh. warping in, but... Well, it ends up being okay. Stalker, it changes the Stalker for a Sentry and a Stalker, so not too bad. Good hold, getting an Immortal, progressing to the next step. Both sides are really even in this game. Probe does have the upgrade advantage, Maynard, but Ranger's got the vision advantage with that Observer, and he's going into charge a little bit faster. Yeah, which is a big deal. Like, sure, Probe's going to have plus two quicker than Ranger, but... I would much rather be the guy with a swarm of charge lots than the guy with just stalkers and sentries, that's for damn sure. At the moment, that is the army of Probe. He does not have other things with his stalkers. He has a Robo, of course, who can get his own Immortals up, but Rangers had the advantage in Immortal production. Now, that is a Miss Rally, I believe, Pig. That's that's a guy trying to send an Observer across the map. It's just an assertive Immortal, that's all. He's going to run to the He's left. Take the the Prism's trying to save him, and his army's coming over to meet it, so I think he can save it. Doesn't want to lose the Prism, though. He's got to be careful. Probe there wants to get that. Uh oh. Oh, no, no, no. Watch out with that prism. That prism. Yeah, yeah. The prism is. Oh, oh he saves my. the immortal, but only for a oh. moment. It ends up all going down. A great pickup for Probe. If he can get out of there, that would be amazing. Oh, Ranger does have a lot of stalkers, but Probe found an opening where there aren't too many on the retreat through the middle of the map. And if Ranger aggressively blinks, he might get one of the backside stalkers there. But that was lovely for Probe. Oh, oh, he's trying to go so up the smart. guts here. Yeah, he's, 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 behind, he's behind an army. He's up in economy drastically right now, his probe. So if he can just lead Ranger around, buy himself a little bit of time for that plus two upgrade to kick in and him to get some more units out at home, probe will be good. Probe's still building more workers right now, being exceptionally greedy, going right up to 66. And uh, yeah, he's going to be starting to make the, the charge as well. But charge is already done for Ranger. Ranger losing that prism is an absolute disaster, though. I feel he has a potential attack timing here. But without a forward warp in point, it just loses its strength. The second prism very slow to get out there. Uh, charge done now for Ranger, though. Uh, I just feel like his army just took a big power spike versus probes. Uh, probe does disengage, and you're talking about the, uh, you know, the economy's being stronger, and Probe's going to see the fruits of that labor in a, in a few short minutes here. So he's That's on his way to having charge yeah. as well. It, it feels like there's an advantage for Rainer at the moment as far as uh, army composition, but he doesn't really have any ability to capitalize on it. So as far as those yeah. advantages go, they're not really going to work out for him in the end. Yeah, definitely. With such a good worker advantage for Probe, he just, you know, comfortable towing that greed line a little bit more, whereas Ranger paused on 55 Probes, added three probes since then but he's he's, he's kind of like hey this is my economy 58 workers and i'm i'm kind of done at that point whereas as they unlock the fourth bases especially probes gonna be like hey i'm mining more minerals i'm mining more gas and his army will grow better in this sort of scenario i don't think it's such a big economic advantage that it's like oh it's, it's game over like the fight angle is still going to be the most important thing but it, to me, just from the, the way they're playing, it looks like Ranger's going to be a bit more focused on trying to finish the game. And the defensive power of shield battery is something that cannot be underestimated. Yeah, you are absolutely correct. Shield battery is, uh, especially when overcharged, an incredible tool for the Protoss. Probe just sending a couple charge lots across the map here for a bit of light pressure at the third base. But considering Ranger's so focused on this attack, it might get some serious damage done. Whoa. Oh, can Probe hold on here? He's got that prism at the backside. Ranger's got the prism on the front line as well to be able to juggle some of those more expensive units and reinforce the attack. But the batteries yeah. are helping out these, these Archons and Zealots so much here for Probe. That Archon will not go down. It has been saved so much by the shield battery healing. An entire overcharge just healed 1,200 oh, no. shields worth of units there. This is an insane hold for Probe. He crushes that army super one-sidedly. That's game. 
That's it. Yeah, that's game right there. Like that is such a massive, massive victory for Probe that there is nothing that Ranger can do for a follow-up. And there it is, the tap out. GG well played. Probe takes game one, an incredibly even game until it wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, I think, you know, that's just one of those ones. Ranger thought he had a kill timing. He sent something there and had the misread. His army was very even with probes. You add a battery overcharge, a few cannons in there. It's like, no, damn. Mm. The zealots charge into the Archon. As they clump up, they take a lot of splash damage and so on. But um, really, you know, it was cool to see both of them navigate through the early stages so evenly. But it wasn't really until probe just kind of got that catch on the left with the prism, the immortal. That was where he ran away with the game because he did get a, a very nice advantage. So early on, it was like, hey, real patient, like one probe, three calls home, right? You know, the stalkers come in and poke. They get a couple sentries, slight advantage ranger here. But uh, probe just, you know, hit his economy really well afterwards. It was very methodical in building up. So I, I think a very kind of evenly paced game until ranger got impatient at the end there. But uh, I think that's a confidence booster because Probe, that's how he likes to finish games. He would like his opponent to kind of impale themselves upon his defenses. That's his favorite way to win. It takes the pressure off him attacking. Um, I see a lot of like Harstam in Probe as well. And there's a few other players who play like this. They just, they like to defend and expand their way to victory while chipping at the opponent with harassment, and that sort of stuff. They don't really mm. want to commit to one big attack like this. So their comfort zone is actually playing someone like Ranger who's going to commit to an attack in like that. And, and I think Ranger has got to be really good at picking those timings because uh probe probe would love to have you just fight on his defenses yeah and funnily enough that's actually very similar to uh our terran in the top four as well Seether, who also plays very similarly you know he likes to sit back and and let the player come to him and just yeah. invest small amounts of resources worth of units for a counterattack like probes uh, attack with stalkers was actually the most expensive thing he did in that game um, and that was a desperation maneuver to try and keep ranger occupied and not keep him uh, on on his side of the map after picking off that prism in the immortals making him scared uh, of that blink stalker ball uh, other than that it was just like a you know what was that like four or five zealots later on in the game meanwhile he had like thousands of minerals and gas chilling in his third base with shield batteries on the way oh yeah yeah, that is, uh, that is the way to do it, man. It's just a couple zealots at the perfect time. It's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, you're set up ready for your attack. In goes the little tactical maneuver, the little, little, you know, just a couple zealots in here or there and uh, chips away at the opponent. One of the most frustrating styles to play against because it's just so patient, you know? Sometimes mm. it's simpler in StarCraft when your opponent's like, all right, uh, throw all my eggs in this basket, let's go, you know? Because you can kind of, it's hard to deal with those attacks. But it's, it's not this process of like slowly treading water and trying to build these little advantages over time. Right. And that's that's what Probe does. And that's kind of hard to play against. You are absolutely not wrong there, Pig. And we're going to see if Ranger can get a little bit more damage done in game two after the break. We'll see you then.
G'day StarCraft fans, welcome back. You are watching the Oceanic slash Rest of Asia DreamHack Masters main event. I am Maynard, with me is Pig, and we are in the middle of a series here. Our first series of the night, so you're in nice and early. The early bird gets the worm, as they say, and the early Protoss usually gets the GG victory timings. It is Probe, currently 1-0 up on Ranger, looking to try and get a map on the board here in this best of five. Indeed, uh, both players just kind of feeling each other out in game number one. There wasn't any... Big, uh, crazy proxy. No big giant proxy gateway in the mid game to get the sneaky blink attack. Pro Not did yet. a four gate, walk the stalkers across the map to check if I can cancel your third. Gets defended, goes home. Other than that, it was, it was a pretty chilled out game overall. They both just kind of, you know, four or six gateway units into expand in game one. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to stay that way, though. I, I think uh, we will be going into, I believe, Oxide next, or no, actually Blackburn next. Sorry. I was going to so say, it's gonna be I, the, yeah. The, one I one could, of the maps with the ramp, though, is the point. So basically, uh, very yeah. easy to defend natural. So I'm thinking we're going to see one gate expand. And this is where things get really interesting because there's a lot of like personal flair in this situation and how players play it. And, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I saw probes heading out pretty early, but no, no, no. It's just to build the low ground pile on down here, representing Legacy. It is Probe. Seems to be one gate expanding, like you mentioned. And in the bottom left, representing the mates from Malaysia, this is Ranger. So... The, uh, yeah, the, the interesting thing here is going to be how much do the players commit to gas and to their next step. So normally, the kind of assumed standard here is you've both scouted at the normal time. You're going to block the other guy from expanding with a pylon and then a cyber core. So you both have to build a zealot to clear it up while just mining off two gases on, on one gas. And then you can kind of get a Stargate real quick, even though your, your Nexus is delayed. And you just play it out from there and you both get quick tech. You still get a reasonably timed one gate expand, but not that fast. Now... Some people will really skimp on the gas mining and hope to squeeze the Nexus up and the other guy's being a little bit greedy and not keeping that block down. Other players will just be like, eh, I know it's going to get blocked. I'm just going to mine heaps of gas and get a really early Stargate. So I've got my eyes on both players to see, is either one being greedy with the block? For now, Ranger just puts the pylon down nice and early. Probe looks like he's trying to cut corners on that block. Notice he still doesn't put the pylon down. So he's coming in and he sees three workers on each gas. So he's actually very happy with that decision because he was kind of banking on this saying, mm, most players are going to mine a lot of gas, assuming it's going to block. I can just threaten the block and get away with this. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, the extra gas does mean that Ranger can shoot up that tech tree a little bit faster. He doesn't want any excuse to have to deal with all that nonsense this early in the game. So we do have the Zealot being forced out from Probe to just get rid of that proxy pylon from Ranger. I still call them mana pylons, but uh, I guess pylon block, proxy pylon. The, the mana pylon is actually the one you build in the mineral line. So yes, yeah. Ah, uh, Ranger the, uh... also going to be the cyber core, the the ultimate okay. block for the one gate expand. While Probe hasn't had to invest in anything on the other side of the map, so keep in mind this does make Probe way more mineral efficient. And the Zealot comes in, and it's just going to go down here. So that Zealot doesn't really achieve too much. It's not even going to get a full scout off on the main, though. I think there's a probe up there anyway, so I think Ranger sees everything. Ranger's got a super quick Stargate, but his Nexus is going to be quite a little bit uh, potentially delayed. Oh, quick wall off to block the Adept. Nicely done there by Probe. That was really well done. He's got a Stalker popping out as well. Nexus does go down actually a little earlier for Ranger, but he's down six workers in this scenario, and that is the advantage that Probe gets from skipping the pylon and the Cyber Core. Which means that the pressure's on Ranger here to make something happen with this Oracle. Now, obviously, he has access to Tier 2 a little bit quicker than Probe here with the gas being mined. And with the Oracle, I mean, if he kills a good handful of Probes, then all of a sudden the, the start of the game is not too bad at all for Ranger. But uh, yeah. Probe seems to be just... Because uh, he's seen it, right? He's he's expecting it. He's got units in position. And he will not give away this lead for free. Oh, and he's playing Mega Macro. He's even going to drop a Forge and just start working on upgrades. Probe is just saying, I'm going to take a very defensive stance and uh, basically just work towards the third base. You know, just keep probing, take a third, make stalkers, defend, defend, defend. And it's a good way to play, dude. The Oracle will come in looking for exposed workers. It's not going to find anything. And does do a revelation in that main base. So nice patient play here from Ranger, but Ranger's got to get chrono boosting those probes. He was a little supply blocked on 31 and, you know, a quicker Nexus by 10 seconds sounds nice, but having six, seven, eight probe advantage early, that is much bigger. So definitely a very good start for probe and he wins this early game one gate Nexus dance. And I mean, that's something we thought from the start might be the case that he was more comfortable because remember this was probe's map pick. 
His next map pick is Oxide, two maps from now. So I think mm -hmm. he is just a little bit more adept and practiced in these situations. Probably not quite Ranger's forte. And speaking of adepts, not a whole lot of them doing a whole lot here for Ranger. They just kind of have to return with the tail between their legs. And the Oracle continues to threaten here, but uh, it is just getting zoned back from this soft underbelly of Probe's infrastructure. The Probes, which are so vulnerable to the, to the Oracle's Pulsar Beams, are so, so safe with this patrolling army at the moment. Lucid that Phoenix comes across the map now for Probe. Just have a look and see what's happening in Rangerville. Yeah. So that Phoenix is just kind of going to see pretty much everything. Twilight Forge is on the way after the Oracle. Ranger's done a very good job of probing after the initial uh, lack of probes that I kind of harped about a little bit there, but it's still a small advantage for probe economically, but a uh, nice tech transition for Ranger, adding the extra gate. I think both sides are probably going to be moving out to that third base as when you get a forge this fast, you're not really looking to attack the opponent. It's a, it's a big chunk of resources this early in the game that's not going to pay off for a while. I don't think you're harping on, Pig. I think you're just fiercely and you're, you're just fiercely reminding everyone. That's all. <laughs> it was uh, it was really well played because it's it's scary to skip the block. It really is because if sometimes you're like, haha, goes into the main with the probe, you come back, it's like, oh, he's just got a nexus down really early, and you're like, oh no, he's gonna be miles ahead of me. But uh, took a risk, got away with it, well calculated, and uh, look at this, probe finds the adepts. Well done. Yeah, the two adepts do win the fight against the Stalker, but the most important thing is, like you mentioned, they've been spotted, so their attempt to uh, just show up with a shade and and uh, catch Probe not looking at the minimap is going to be thwarted here, at least for the first phase. And he saw the Chrono earlier with that first Lucinator Phoenix on the Twilight Council, so he knows that Ranger is, is heading towards Blink at the moment. Ranger only down two Probes right now, does start his own third. He's going double Robo, that's an accident. Oh, he's accidentally made a second Robo, forgetting about the first one. Or he's doing the coolest stuff ever. Um, I would I would love this to be double <laughs> robo. If he, if he drops a robo bay right now, then I'm wrong. He's just going heavy disruptor. And that could be an option because this map, most of the fighting happens in that one pathway along the south. It's not as mobility based. Disruptors are going to find the targets, but very rare to see that. Yeah. Um, it's usually just an observer, maybe an immortal, get a warp prism for warp ins, that sort of thing. So maybe a little bit of nerves there for Ranger going up against the player who he said was the only player that he's really afraid of facing in that top four. And uh, rightfully so. Probe's actually just playing the most normal PvP right now. He is so safe, so secure, not missing a beat with his macro. Uh, his probe count, obviously been dwarfing Ranger since the beginning of the game. He's solidified and, and constantly kept a 6-7 probe lead over Ranger. Um, and going into charge, plus to attack, not missing a, a beat at all as he drops his safe production. Ranger, like you mentioned, a bit of a macro mistake. He got supply blocked a little bit earlier. Second Robo doesn't look like it was deliberate. He's only making a prism right now. There's no Robo Bay. Uh, Ranger does like his Blink Disruptor, but it's not happening in this game. He's just making Immortals and going to charge, so it's a tiny little bit of a blunder here for the Malaysian Protoss. Oh, there's the Robo Bay. Okay, well, you know what? I, I do love those Disruptors, mate, and uh, being able to pump them out two at a time definitely gives you some good potential. Uh, even if you like lose a fight on the other side of the map, by the time they get over to you, you've got three, four Disruptors out, and, and that gives you a big, big amount of potential holding power. So 57 workers each, probes up a little in supply, but the longer the game goes, I mean, those those leads can disappear as much as uh, harping on, you know, how good how oh. this probe is, macro is so good. Uh, the longer a game goes, if you're not hitting timings and committing to those big attacks or, or harassing them at all, you know, your opponent can claw their way back into it. So I like seeing probes say, look, I've had such a good opening. It's been so smooth. I've got to go do something with this army now. I've built this perfect plus two blink timing. Charges kicking in. I got eight gateways. Let's see what we can do here. He's got a ton of stalkers and let's see how he does this right now. Is there enough static D? I mean, the immortals are going to be kind of negated by the charge lots. There's just not that many stalkers. It's like a 10 stalker. The disruptors aren't ready yet, Maynard. Mm, I mean, when the disruptors come out and, the, and, and they have to come out and they have to hit their Novas for Ranger to survive here. So you're absolutely right. There is a, a an astronomic lead here for Probe as far as army's concerned. It's absolutely massive. Yeah, I, I think with Ranger, he might even need to fall behind his Nexus, which is crazy because then he's giving up his ramp. But, oh, Ranger, get out of there. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. Ranger goes out there just to see what's happening. Finds a gigantic ball of Probe's units. And Probe just going to take out the battery, take out the Immortal. Coming on in, Disruptor Nova. needs a big hit. Oh, that hit's not bloody bad at all. He kills a lot of the Probes. And <laughs> Probe's face is like, yes. oh my god, what just happened? He did oh, not expect. Oh he did not expect the Disruptor's Inquisition. Oh. And it did so much damage to his army supply. And believe it or not, that kind of keeps Ranger alive here. But can he still hold on? 
please tell me someone clip that is expression and is making a gif right now of probes mouth wide open after that. Yeah, that's his new emo for his channel for sure. <laughs> wow. Uh, he's not done yet, though, and he's still in a forward position. Uh -huh. Battery overcharge will be ready soon. Disruptors are coming out, but they're not as good in these small skirmishes. It's really hard for them to land their hits. Yeah, the Novas are coming through here. Probe's still really threatening the front door, though. He maintains an army yeah. supply lead over Ranger. Even with the Disruptors getting insane connections, Probe still just maintains a, an army supply lead and is not giving Ranger too much room to breathe at all. Ranger does sneak away to take the top left Nexus, which is great, but Probe's been having this gold mining for quite a while, so his gold income, uh, rather his mineral income, is really, really nice to be able to print some charge lots. Yeah. Oh, Disruptor. Disruptor in the open there is going to force a blink. A nice dodge does get two sentries, but the Zealots are in the main. Remember, Probe's mining a gold base during all this. The cannon does help for a moment, but it's not going to be enough. He's outnumbered. Probe has got a full gold mining while Ranger's still only on three mineral lines. Probe is up six or seven workers right now. And look at this, just Zealot onslaught. I think Probe also might have a couple more gateways. He might be up on ten gates with just how many Zealots are coming in. This is really well played by Probe. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like he just is uh, too good too good to give away this lead in the end and he finds top left oh that's going to go down for sure rangers in a lot of hot water here oh. probe there maintaining focus after a surprising disruptor shot i don't think he even knew the disruptors were on the way so i think that really was a shock to him that moment when the the, the powerful tech the game-changing tech not only arrives but it hits you by surprise in the middle of a battle with a game-changing one definitely can throw you off but he just knuckled down stayed focused and uh He's done a lot of damage. Ranger now reeling, cancelling that fourth in the top of the map. Down on 49 probes for 61 plus a gold base. I mean, the income graph has got to be just crazy advantage for probe. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Insano. Absolutely massive. Ranger needs nothing short of a miracle engagement to try and win this game. He is uh, three bases against the four, and keep in mind that one of those pro bases is a mineral base, so it has less mineral patches on it, but it's basically a 1.5 income base at the moment for uh, Probe, who's just yeah. at, like light years ahead right now, and even has the invisible men. Those probes just mine more efficiently there, and uh, build that on up. Uh, Ranger still has some disruptors, so definitely could try to kind of knuckle down and hang on and uh, a few zealots coming in on the north, I think it is for... Or DT, sorry, that was for Probe. Oh, cannon starting. He goes, oh, I don't have detection on this base, but the DT's already there. That feels bad, man, when that happens. You see the detection a little bit late here, lagging behind. The overcharged shield battery comes down, but it's been depowered, and the, the, the DTs, I mean, they've already kind of paid for themselves here, even if they do get oh, killed. Yeah. yeah, well done. Those Dark Templar do well. It looks like one of them might get away to the north, but Probe's all ready for another assault on the natural on, on the, the third natural. base. 19 Zealots, 3 Archon, 17 Stalkers. It's a massive army advantage. Every Disruptor shot needs to land for Ranger to hold. Well, there's one that won't land. It gets flicked away immediately there, and Probe not being as cavalier with his blink this time. Waiting for that last Disruptor shot, and boom! He pulls the trigger, and goodbye, Ranger. It's going to be a 2-0 oh. lead here for Probe. He's just got way too much. Those Stalkers took those Disruptors out so darn quickly. Very decisive play there from Probe. And you can see Ranger just exhaling, realizing, oh, I've just been overwhelmed. Okay, just a little bit too much. Tries to get the run by in, can't quite do it. A nice 2-0 advantage for Probe. A pretty dominant series so far, i got to say, for the Australian Protoss. He's had, uh, I guess, a, a, couple, uh, a couple openings in his armor. A few weakness spots, the, you know, maybe being a little... Uh, a little haphazard with uh, with with respecting the defenses of Ranger or not keeping up to date with the the tech of Ranger, not having an hallucinated Phoenix. See that there, are, you know, in fact, were uh, disruptors around the corner for him, so he took a big hit to his army. Luckily for him, that didn't end up being too much of a factor. Um, but obviously, if the game was a lot closer, that would have potentially been game losing to lose that much that many units in an attack that uh, that that he luckily for him could afford to um, lose a little bit in because he just had such a huge army lead. Indeed. Well, uh, an exciting one here. I really, this was such a good wall off um, from Probe. And, you know, Ranger was so focused on trying to get that Zealot Adept pressure, didn't find anything with it. And his Oracle. I mean, that was the, the grand sum total of that Oracle's damage was summed up in that shot. That was it. Stasis in three probes because he was all over it. Probe was in, in the right position every time. Didn't let any probes go down to it. And, I mean, this was such a good attack. Looked like he was going to win the game until... Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probe's face. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i love it i love it but uh good, good you know the unfortunate, 
Good job. It was real done production. <laughs> they uh, they're kicking goals here at ESL Australia, but the the. The uh, the face set at all probe was not ready for that, but it did not matter in the end. And this was a brilliant usage of his army control there from probe, waiting out the disruptor shots and then pulling the trigger, jumping on top of what remains from Ranger. All the comeback units taken away, and every chance Ranger had removed from the game. Oh well, uh, definitely a, <laughs> an exciting moment, a good reaction. Always gets me a bit excited watching these, but. I think definitely that was uh, a little bit more in Probe's wheelhouse from early on with that worker advantage. And he was so... Whenever I see a player do that forge before any tech, I'm like, oh God, okay, he's just turtling. He's so happy to just defend and sit there. He has no focus on harassing or attacking for a long time. But that's kind of hard to play against. And, and he was so on point with defending the oracles. Uh, next map, though, is going to be one of these ones where you can't get that one gate expand up very easily. I think it's one where Ranger will probably have a little bit of a, a better start, in my opinion. I'm, I'm with you on that one. It's the uh, potentially more comfortable battlefield for him, and um, we're going to be going into that game very, very shortly here. Would love to see him fight back. Obviously, you know, when it comes to StarCraft, I want a full series. If it's a best of five, I want five games. If it's a seven, I want seven games. You guys get the picture. But uh, I got to say, I'm not feeling super confident for our Malaysian representative here. Probe just looked so strong in those games. There was... Maybe windows where Ranger was ahead, especially in game one. But just since then, it's been all probe. Yeah, this is such a strategy oriented matchup because Protoss really is always about surprising your opponent and having the right tech and the right numbers at the right moment. It's shifting really hard into worker production and then bam, blitzing into a, a billion gateway units or getting out the disruptors or the Archon swap to deal with the Zealots at the right time. And you can see that probe is trying to play the reflexive style here. And uh, yeah, maybe some small chinks in the armor, some small weaknesses, but uh, not finding any big openings just yet. He's got to keep looking and he's got to try maybe something a little bit different. Up here in the top left, let's see if he can rally in this series. It's M8's Ranger. Representing the mates. Just waiting for a mate. <laughs> and in the bottom right, represented by Legacy ANZ, one of the biggest brands in the country. This is Probe. Actually, one of the most successful players in the country when you think of it like to to be yeah uh the starcraft representative basically for legacy he's the crown jewel of their starcraft lineup for sure but uh they definitely have quite a few players and what? you're saying it's not piglet your boy yeah it's not my it's not my brother pig jr piglet ryan ryan nxz premier league jones of course or, or <laughs> i was thinking more my human brother but but nxz no, as well I, NXZ as well i'm, I'm just my listing names you're just listing everyone? All right. I'm just listing everyone, yep. Yeah. I think Run Premier League Mr. Jones is a man. bit more of... I mean, Pro Probe never knocked, knocked me out of a, a WCS, right? Except 17 times, you know, in the qualifiers no. in the last few years. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your brother's already given you a bit of grief as well, I remember. A oh, times. he's so hard to beat now. They're, they're all yeah. getting so good now, Maynard. It's insane. <laughs> it's, it's actually crazy. Yeah, like every, every now and then I... Oh, cool, get to play against someone on the ladder in a tournament. I'm like, yeah, yeah I think I could take them down and wow how do they have so much stuff how is their micro so good why don't mm -hmm. they let me kill their things it's uh it's an entirely different level of skill in 2021 it really is that's because you're one of these uh boomer gen x energy people trying to beat these uh these these gen z tweaked out zoomers with their insane mass accuracy and uh incredible apm every it's generation goes practice, up 100 man. apm yeah, yeah, I think it's the anime music and the the Osu practice. That's what makes that's them so right. Good. Yeah, they, they play like uh, yeah, they, they play o Osu and the and the the out the accuracy clicker simulators and all the mouse stuff, and it's just like wow. I, I liked the late '90s when I could actually beat people at like Quake Arena, and these days, if I ever try to play Quake Arena against uh, against kids, not that they're playing Quake, unfortunately. They don't know. They wouldn't know a good game if it bit them in the butt, pig. <laughs> Luckily, we got some playing StarCraft here, which is a great game. But uh, yeah, I, you, you would just get railed to death by all these zoomers, dude, with their mouse accuracy. Yeah. You would never be able to do anything. Yeah, man. Everyone's 360 no scoping you and stuff. It's, uh, it's yeah. insane these days out in the, the landscape of the the mechanical skills have, have gone to new heights, and uh, there's so much you know information out there about how to optimize your settings, how to practice. A regular thing for for like normie gaming kids to be practicing in the in the shooting ranges of different FPS games or going in and doing their mouse accuracy testing, their little mechanic sessions. It's cool to see over the years. There's just been this more and more mainstream like this is actually a skill, not just 
you know, mm-hmm. I want to blow some things up in my video game, but people are actually like, oh, I can I can refine and improve this thing, and it yeah. leads to this development. So uh, anyway, I guess should talk about the game. Stalker pressure coming on over here for probe. Up against this nice, quick expansion for Ranger. Zell, it does take a lot of damage. Gets back to the battery for now. That is a lot of firepower. He's got to stand and fight. Oh, does he not have overcharge energy? That's about to run out, but he's already deflected one of the Stalkers. The Zealot adds a lot of damage. Ranger's going to try and run it down in the north. He's just got to be careful not to lose that Stalker as his Void Ray comes out to defend. Probe's expansion's a lot later, so this is a very good start for Ranger. If he's confident enough to chrono his probes and just keep probing, he's going to get way ahead here. Yeah, it's also unfortunate a small thing there for Probe is that one of his Stalker volleys hit a gateway, which didn't really do a whole lot except for shields. Could have potentially have done a bit more damage to a unit that mattered. But uh, as we can see for Ranger, starting to round out his force with some heavy hitters here, throwing in some Void Rays. Now, Void Rays and Stalkers have this weird relationship where they kind of counter each other in a weird way. The Void Rays erase Probes as fast as Probes erase Void Rays. It's kind of strange, but uh, they have that, do- that, that constant damage output with the lock-on laser beam. Well, Blink's going to kick in very early and Probe is not done with the aggression because he is down 10 workers and he has to not be done with the aggression. Oh no, Ranger. Oh, Ranger thinks the game's settling down because because he doesn't have any real scouting tools out there. He's kind of assuming, that, okay, Probe's attack is done. It's not. Sees the pi- Does he see the pylon? <gasps> he sees the warp in. Kill that and get out. He's got to get home. He's got to realize that these Void Rays are very exposed. If he doesn't get those home, he's in big trouble. Oh, yeah, recall might be pylon. too late. Oh, he's getting greedy. Oh no, oh, no. these Void Rays are dead. Oh, for just one Stalker and a Pylon, and now Probe has a lot of Stalkers. The only weakness for, for Probe is he doesn't have high ground vision, so he kind of has to fight with the batteries, but the raw just amount of, of damage difference is going to be a big problem, because he's going to kill the batteries really quick. He'll click on them. He's going to start to focus those down and just blink back his Stalkers as they get weak. Nicely done. He's going to take out the overcharged battery. Oh, no. Ranger accidentally hits oh, his own no. Nexus in panic. He's got to pull his Probes. He needed to be hitting out faster, but oh, man. Probe here just commits hard in game number three way behind ranger in this one but he he goes way off book. this is not how probe normally plays commits to a crazy blink attack completely catches ranger off yeah pro playing against his image here and going for the quick dirty win and a quick dirty win it will be ranger just i mean probe outplayed ranger he's very happy about it putting us a little dance there for us on camera but uh ranger unfortunately didn't get to 